Hey y'all, this is Pam again with Mason Lance Designs and today we're going to do another Zoom Notes tutorial and we're going to talk about layers. This is something that's always kind of puzzled me in other apps and I never really used it until I, you know, started using Zoom Notes and now that I use them, I typically don't plan a day without them. Now that I've pretty much figured it out, I still make mistakes every now and again, but I think I have the basic understanding of it down. So let's uh, take a look. Up here at the top, under the red uh, little shape up there, um, it says page, and it has the diamond. You click on it, and it shows I have uh, two layers right now. Okay, the first layer um, is the tabs layer, which is a master layer. And so you come over here to the top where it says master layer, and you can click on there, and you can, um, it says master, and you can add a layer and you can label it, you know, whatever you want to label it. And then once you lock it, like I have this, okay, these tabs are labeled on each page. So once I lock it, I came and did it on the first page of the planner. And when I locked it, every single page has my tabs marked. So if I wanted to go in and change the name of a tab see it tells me I'm working on it on another page that I have it unlocked and so I guess I won't show you that right now um but you can unlock the tabs layer and then of course you do the lasso tool up here at the top and you just circle uh whichever tab that is you want to change or you know use the um text tool and click on it and then just change the name and lock the layer back and it changes on all the layers. It's pretty sweet. Okay, and my next layer is uh, the page layer and that's not a master layer. Those master layers are for every single page if you want something to show up on every single page. That's how you would um, do the master layers. And if there's a particular page, say like the front cover, you don't want these tabs to show up. All you do is, um, you see where it says visible in this little uh, scroll, whoops, and it won't let me do it. Um, but I'll show you here where it says page. You take it and you scroll across. Do you see how the page disappeared? Okay, so on that very first page, you can just take and uh, make that one particular page disappear and then lock it back. Okay, so here where it says page, I just uh, took a picture of the page and copied it, you know, one on each side. And then when I did that, I locked the layer, but now that I have the tabs locked, now I need another layer so I can move off of this one. So I'm gonna add a layer. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna lock this one. So now when I click on it, it's, it's not gonna move. Okay, so this next layer, I'm gonna click on the number and I'm gonna call it stickers. And you need to make sure when you're working on them, you have these little, you have to unlock it before you can click on the current box. But if you decide to leave a couple of um, layers unlocked, you need to make sure whatever layer you're wanting to work on, you have that little current uh, bubble clicked. So I'll lock that page back, I'm working on stickers. So these are some stickers I've just pulled that I want to copy and paste. And uh, put on this page. See, I left the layers unlocked on that page. Let's go back and see where it says page. I left it unlocked, so now I have to lock it and then I have to unlock the stickers. So let's try this again. Copy. And I typically, when I do something on a page, I try to remember to go back and lock it because I'm pretty bad about forgetting if I don't do it like right after. And so now I paste it and see it just has the stickers. It doesn't have the page with it. So, 
let's just say I'll place it right there okay then I'll come up here and see it says it's stickers and I want to lock that layer but because I have the tabs layer and the page layer locked I don't want to mess with those and now I'm wanting to lock the stickers I need to add another layer so that I can lock the sticker layer so they won't move and so I typically label this just writing. I got that, I think, from Rebecca Bennett. She does YouTube videos as well. And that way, this is where I put, you know, all of my writing. And if I wanted to lasso something that I did, you see how it doesn't pull the sticker with it? Because if it was, you know, if it was unlocked, it would pull the sticker with it. Or if I wanted to... type do wash and put it there and I accidentally you know clicked off of it and wanted to move it okay it's easy to move but if I don't have my stickers on a layer and don't have them locked if I go to move it then I'm moving the sticker and it really works when you're um doing a lot of layering like if you're wanting to write um on a sticky note or you know you're wanting to layer a couple of things and then write on top of that it's just it's so much easier when you lock layers I didn't really believe in them um, <laughs> at first until I started trying to learn them and realizing you know each page has the tabs layer of course because it's a master layer and then I have the page layer which is just you know if I decide to use anything in the background You know, like if I wanted to put something on a blank page, uh, not all my pages have that. I usually use, you know, templates or whatever that's already there. But if you wanted to, um, you could do that and just label it that. And then my next, next layer would be stickers, which is everything I place on the page. And then I lock all of it. So when I go to start actually writing in my planner, I'm just writing on, you know, that one layer of writing. Um... And the order, honestly, it doesn't matter because I can put the tabs up here. I mean, they, they work independently of each other. Okay, so when the tabs layer is on the top or the bottom, it, it really doesn't matter the order. It's just that layer that you worked on is locked. You know, there's no what's underneath or above, if that makes any sense. It's taken me a while to... Um, understand layers and sometimes putting them in the order and you did them is very helpful but sometimes I do them kind of out of order and I've noticed that order doesn't really matter um, if you have the tabs you know like on the second or third or if you have it at the bottom it, it really doesn't matter so I hope this was a good explanation of working with layers um, if you have any questions please let me know I'll be more than happy to try to help you or get a question answered for you if I can't answer it. So thank y'all for watching and have a great day. Bye.